Okay, class. Today we're hopefully going to be finishing up our profile designs that we made, our abstract profiles, and these were just a couple examples of some really excellent ones that students had done. You know, I was looking for those thick and thin lines. I was looking for different line qualities, patterns, and symbols, um, and that you really thought about it, and it, and it makes the viewer think. Well, this was outstanding. These are a series of quotes that Danielle Smith came up with, which were fantastic. And I really, really love this one also. And this was by Julia. She has some neat patterns in the, in the sun. And uh, just looking great, guys. You're working so hard for me. And I really, really appreciate it. And for you. Okay. So we're moving on. I've got a lot of students that are starting the next lesson, which is on cutting out insects. And we're going to be using symmetry to cut them out. Let me show you some examples of some bugs already that have been cut out, um, either by me or other students. And we didn't use a pencil. We just cut them out by looking at one side of the insect. Okay, so with, this is not going to be that hard. Um, you've just got to concentrate and be positive with yourself. Okay, I've got a watercolor background that's drying up right now. And later what we're going to do is we're going to glue them down to create a really interesting composition. But that's going to be part two of this portfolio project. Today... Some of you are going to be cutting out your insects, and I've got pictures of insects up here at the screen, up here at my desk, and um, you can take some of these to look at for examples. Okay, so the next thing is we are going to learn how to cut out an insect. So I'm going to take the images that I have here, and I'm going to show you how to make these. And they're really very easy. And don't worry if you mess up. It's okay because you can just get, grab another sheet of paper and try again. Okay? So let's go ahead. And I'm, I've already got out of the big sheet of paper, you can cut smaller sheets. And I'm going to go ahead and make the butterfly. Okay, on this one. All right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the paper to create my symmetry and then I am going to cut I'm going to start cutting what I see is one side of the butterfly okay now symmetry means a mirror image so what I am going to get hopefully is a mirror image of this butterfly and I'm looking at the contour lines I'm looking at the contour lines of the butterfly to make sure that I am getting as close to it looking like a butterfly as possible. Some of you may have a problem cutting out the antennas. And if you do, because that can be a little bit hard, you can always cut them down and glue them later. So don't, don't get upset if like an antenna or a leg from your insect gets lost. Okay? Because you can cut another one. Now I'm going to go back in here and cut just a little bit more. And then before I open this up, well, let's just look at it. Yay, we have a butterfly. Okay, so we've got a butterfly now, but we want to make it look interesting because we're going to be putting it on a beautiful watercolor background. So we want to put some designs inside of our insects. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go back into the picture, and I'm going to start to cut some really neat designs. Maybe some really wavy, curvy lines, okay? That could start it. Remember, we're going to have a beautiful watercolor background that's going to show up. So we want to make sure that um, we're able to really show off our background through the insects that we glue down. Now... I want to get in here in these shapes, and that can be a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is I fold, and I'm going to cut right into the insect, okay? So when I open it up, I'm going to get a nice symmetrical mirror image of that shape. And again, like I said, don't worry if you mess up. 
If I want to give my caterpillars some eyes, even though we don't see eyes here, again, I, I welcome you to be as creative as possible, then go ahead, fold it, and you've got to be careful, and you don't want to also be very careful that you don't cut your skin, okay? Always safety first. And there we go. So now we have the eyes. But, you know, again, think deeply. What else can I do? Can, where else can I cut to make this look a little bit more interesting? The more, the more interesting little shapes and, and lines and curves, and the, the, the more exciting it will be to look at, okay? All right, so that's the butterfly, okay? Why don't, let's watch me do one more before I let you um, get started on this. Again, um, and we went over this yesterday, you're going to make a little folder, okay? And you're going to put all your insects in here that you're working. Ah, there we go, there's a little fly, okay? You're going to put all of them in this folder that you're going to glue down, and I'll help you um, getting this together if you are having difficulty, but it's not that hard. You just glue the sides and then you fold it over, put your name, and you're ready to go, okay? So, let me put these over here and let's cut one more together, okay? And that's what you're going to be doing today if you're finished with everything else. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut, um, since I've got a lot of space here, I'm going to cut the dragonfly. Okay, and I'm going to see that the dragon's fly has two layers of, of wings here. So I'm going to cut that part. And this. And let me go back in here now. And... There we go with the dragonfly. Now, I didn't get the little legs in there, but I could add them later to it. Now the job is to go back in and start to put some interesting shapes and designs inside of my insect. Okay, so there's the eye. I'm beginning. Okay, and then I can fold and I can cut different shapes out on both sides. So remember, you're going to be cutting into the fold. This is symmetry. It's a, anything that's symmetric is a mirror image. Tomorrow we'll talk about composition because tomorrow you'll be starting to um, start watercolor and placing your insects on your background and gluing them down. And you want a nice composition that has variety. So we'll be talking about tomorrow variety, balance, symmetry, space, transparent, and opaque. So we have a lot of words that we're going to be going over in the next couple of days, but I'm very excited about this lesson. I hope you are too. Let's work quietly today and get our work done. Bye for now.